The results from a study pinpointing the hottest parts of Jacksonville are in, and you might be surprised at the range in temperatures found in one part of the town versus the other. The heat watch report was compiled by researchers and volunteers from the University of North Florida. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry says the data will be helpful for years to come. Everyone in Jacksonville knows just how hot it can get during the blistering summer. But while some parts of town reached almost 95 degrees on the day of the study, other areas varied by nearly 12 degrees. It's just one of the valuable findings unearthed in Jacksonville's heat watch report conducted on June 18th, where researchers drove more than 400 miles studying temperatures along the way. The hottest areas, according to the report, include Talleyrand, San Marco, and area shopping centers, including the St. John's Town Center and Gateway. It was also extremely hot along parts of Phillips Highway. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry says all the areas have one thing in common. So if it's a highly commercial or industrialized zoned area, that's going to be incredibly hot. A lot of concrete, a lot of pavement, areas where there's a lot of canopy, a lot of trees. Um, it's going to be cooler. Curry says the heat watch report provides his chief resiliency officer and staff with vital information about how to design infrastructure for future administrations. What we can do with this is take areas, neighborhoods that maybe don't have not, we haven't invested over the years, over the decades, um, proper trees and allocate budget dollars to make sure those areas are represented with these types of resources. News for Jack's meteorologist Mark Collins also noticed another trend that reveals that climate change is a legitimate local concern. One of the biggest things I noticed on these new maps is that at nighttime, it's staying hotter longer during the evening when we should be cooling down, especially in the urban core. And that's a problem with climate change. And it makes people that are at risk more sensitive to heat stroke because the body needs to cool down at night. The street surveys were taken at three different times of the day. The mayor says he would be interested in developing a pilot program to find ways to mitigate the heat in the hottest local areas.